Hello, my name is Chris Isayan, and today I'm going to focus on automation of SQL script unit testing using Docker containers. Let's get started. Let's take a look at the problem that we're trying to solve. Not frequently, or at least that's how I want to think, but periodically developers check in code that doesn't work in QA in production. Generally, this is due to dev environment not matching QA. And we know the reasons for this. Um, dev environment is free for developers to create tables, drop tables, add columns, store procedures, function, add dummy data, and so on and so forth. So the proposed solution is before you commit your code into the repo, stand up a clean SQL server and database in matter of minutes. Yes, in matter of minutes. Apply code that's in the repository, right? Then apply your new DDLs, DMLs, and unit test scripts. Run them. If you don't see any errors, that's a good indication that you passed the smoke test and code is ready to be committed to the repository. Currently, you're looking at the overall script, but we're going to run one line at a time so you get a feel of how long each step takes. So let's take a look at the YAML file here. So here's the YAML file. Pay attention to the volumes that are going to be mounted. Let's run the create database server step first. And let's count to see how long the creation of SQL Server takes. One, two, three, four, five, six, done. So under 10 seconds, let's test that to make sure you're able to connect to the server. Okay, so it might take a few seconds to get the SQL Server started. Okay, now it's started. Let's take a look at the system databases that are out there. The next step will be to create our custom database in here. Now, in order to execute a SQL script against the container, first you need to get the container ID. Let's do that. Now, let's execute the create database script, which looks like something like this. Okay, so let's take a look and see if the database was created. Refresh. Okay, so test database is already there. Now let's execute the remaining DDLs and uh, assume for now that we just have tables and store procedures, just for simplicity. And uh, assume that this table was created in the past and it's a code in the code repository and this store procedure is what's being applied new. And what we're going to do is if the, this is a simple unit test, smoke test uh, that we're going to do, if the table, if the store procedure doesn't exist, we're just going to print out an error. Now you can get as complicated as you want. You can insert data into a table, then pass parameters to the store procedure, then examine the results, but we'll just keep it simple for now. Now let's run the table and store procedure scripts. Uh, and uh, for simplicity, I just commented the lines that we already executed in the prior steps, and we're going to run the file at this time. Let's see. All right. Okay, to show you what the error situation would have looked like, I commented out the create store procedure. Let's rerun the uh, command again. Let's see what the results are. Now tables are executed, and the store procedure is being executed. And here we see the error message being printed. Now, as expected, the store procedure is not there. So let's uncomment this. Let's create store procedure, run the command again, and now let's go check out, make sure the store procedure was created. Okay, it's right there. So once you're happy with this, the next step will be to um, destroy the container. 
And that's pretty simple. So let's go take a look at the script or line that actually tears it down. There we go. Let's run this. That should get rid of the container. Okay. Removing SQL one. Okay, and the container is gone. Once again, you didn't have to run each command individually. You can combine them and run them in a batch. The only item that you need to focus on is this sleep for n number of seconds to allow your SQL server to start. For my hardware, 15 seconds is optimum. For yours, maybe less, maybe more. You just need to experiment with it. Okay. This concludes the tutorial. Obviously, you can parameterize the script as well as um, apply automation tools that are out in the market, such as Jenkins, Cradle, Liquibase, etc. Uh, there's a couple of uh, reference material that I want to share with you. Two of them is from Microsoft. They have much more than I presented. One has the prerequisites and some additional commands that you can run. This is the deployment model and how to connect as well as where you can download the Docker desktop. Thank you for watching.